Hello everybody, this is the 25th lecture of the IELTS. Today we are also answering gaps as we did the last lecture, but this time the gaps are different. We will see. We, it says here the question, complete the summary below. Choose no more than three words and or a number from the passage for each answer, which means no more than three words. That means one, two or three words are correct and or a number. So if you have a three words with a number, it's regarded as a three words. Just like my age is 20, 41. If I say my age is there are three words, 41 is not a word, it's a number, so it's okay. Okay, let's come here. The young market. This one is a summary for the passage below. Here. It says selling music by Gap is popular among buyers, particularly young ones aged, gap, and so on. More, we, as we said in the last lecture, most of the gaps come orderly. Let's say around 99.9% .9 come orderly. Let's re read it. There are signs that the brave new world of su subscription music is not that far off. A recent survey found interest in subscription services highest among consumers in the all-important 18 to 24 age group and those aficionados who spend large sums of money on music each year. Okay, so let's come here. This one, by the way, gives a summary. The gaps, I mean, we take the summary from the passage. Selling music by subscription is popular among buyers. Why? Because it says there are signs that the brave new world of sus subscription music is not that far off. A recent survey found interest in subscription services highest among consumers. So, subscription why because it's among buyers consumers and the all important okay let's go back here particularly young ones aged 18 to 24 because it says all important 18 to 24 age group and those aficionados who spend large sums of money on music each year okay Let's go back here to the question. So number one will be subscription. Number two will be 18 to 24. Musicians are aware that they need to encourage larger groups of their gap. Musicians themselves are also adapting to a service model. The key is to build online communities of fans who feel engaged in the creative process. Musicians are aware that they need to encourage larger groups, which means the communities, of their fans to take part in music making through live concerts. So number three will be fans. Giving users an unprecedented uh, degree of participation in the music they listen to. Some famous artists, such as Metallica, a Prince, and David Bowie, maintain online collections of live concert downloads. We have here to take part in music making through live concert downloads and other. <coughs> Let's go back here to the same paragraph. Uh, some famous artists such as Metallica, Prince and David but we maintain online collections of live co of live concert downloads, exclusive digital only tracks, videos, online journals and interactive forums where like minded fans can meet. Online that means number four will be online or interactive activities. Why? Because it says here online collections of live concert downloads, exclusive digital only tracks, videos, 
online journals and interactive formats, which means activities. So, whether we take online or interactive, either, any of them is correct. Okay, the fact is that young people are losing their appreciation of the gap. Let's go back here. Uh, young listeners, here it is. It seems are increasingly unimpressed with the album format. Okay, the fact is that young people are losing their appreciation of the album format or just album. It's correct. Why? Because unimpressed, which means losing their appreciation. Okay. Even though it may be well produced and packaged, according to one expert in the world of digital music sales, gap are much more common. Let's see which is more much more common. Uh, however, cleverly the songs are arranged and attractively designed the cover art is. The album is traditional, not inevitable according to William Hyam of Next Big Thing, a London-based youth trend consultancy. The next generation of music fans is growing up in a compilation culture. He says, pointing out that the single track purchases make up a much larger percentage of digital music sales than singles do for, uh, for offline music purchases. So, gap are much more common. So we go back to the last two lines. He says, pointing out that the single track purchases make up a much larger percentage. Okay, so a single track purchases are much more common. Okay, so let's go. Let's go back to the answers. Number one is subscription. Number two, eighteen to twenty-four. Number three, fans. Number four, we said online or interactive. Any of them. Number five, we said. <coughs> uh, sorry. Uh, number five, we said album or album format, and number six, the last one, single track purchases, and we have just explained the reason. Okay, there is another kind of gaps. Here it is, new tracks. This one is based on the story. It's not taken from the story. It's based on the story. That means it's comprehensive. Let's read it. Scientists believe that microbes that may supply new antibiotic drugs have been gap in the bodies of fossilized insects. Raoul Canu says these microbes may help us destroy some of the bacteria that have become gap to current medicines. What needs to be done first, however, is to make sure the antibiotics are gap. When doing this, microbes that seem to have the characteristics of modern diseases will have to be gap. Canu has been gap by some scientists. Others are already saying that the use of any new antibiotics should be gap. We have six gaps here based on the passage and we have 16 16 choices so we need to choose six only and to leave 10 be careful choose only six error and leave 10 do not re-choose what you choose okay prehistoric insects spawn new drugs by steve corner Paragraph A. Insects entombed in fossilized amber for tens of millions of years have provided the key to creating a new generation of antibiotic drugs that could wage war or modern diseases. So far we don't have anything. Scientists have isolated the antibiotics from microbes found either inside the intestines of the amber 
encased in sacks or in soil particles trapped with them when they were caught by sticky tree rising up rising so rising up to 130 million years ago spores of the microbes have survived an unprecedented period of suspended animation enabling scientists to revive them in the laboratory scientists believe that microbes that may supply new antibiotic drugs drugs have been gap in the bodies of fossilized insects so uh, we have here combined connected alive safe deadly criticized cold limited rejected placed preserved prescribed praised real immune welcomed the answer is kai preserved why because insects entombed in civilized and fossilized amber so so and if we just read paragraph a based on paragraph a the answer will be preserved because they believe those insects or microbes which are preserved and tomed uh, in fossilized and fossilized in, uh, insects may supply new antibiotic drugs okay now so number one will be kai preserved let's go to the other one b research over the past two years has uncovered a at least four antibiotics from the microbes and one has been able to kill modern drugs resist resistant bacteria that can cause potentially deadly diseases in humans present day antibiotics have nearly all been isolated from microorganisms that use them as a form of defense against their predators or competitors but since the introduction of antibiotics into medicine 50 years ago an alarming number have become ineffectively because many bacteria have developed resistance to the drugs the antibiotics that were in use millions of years ago may prove more deadly against the drug resistant modern strains of disease causing bacteria okay Raul Canu says these microbes I haven't read anything about Raul Canu here let's go to the other paragraph but I think we we might have seen something related to this paragraph we will go back to it C. Raul Cano, who has pioneered the research of the California Polytechnic State University of San Luis Obispo, said the ancient antibiotics had been successful in fighting drug-resistant strains of Staphylococcus bacteria, a super a superbug that had threatened the health of patients in hospitals across the globe he now intends to establish whether the antibiotics might have harmful side effects the problem is how toxic they are to other cells and how easy they are to purify said Kano. okay now we have the answers of two and three here how raul Kano says these microbes may help us destroy some of the bacteria that have become immune why did i choose immune which is number o i mean the letter o because the ancient antibiotics had been successful here these microbes which means of the first paragraph ancient antibiotics may help us destroy might be successful in fighting a drug resistant 
some of the bacteria that have become immune to drug resistant strains. Okay. To current medicines. What needs to be done first, however, is to make sure the antibiotics are what need are safe, which he says here. He now intends to establish whether the antibiotics might have harmful side effects. That means here safe. Number three will be safety. Why? Because what needs to be done first, however, is to make sure the antibiotics are safe. This is, as we said, is a summary, and this summary is based on the passage. Now, let's go on. Number four is different. It's not from this paragraph. D. A biotechnology company. Ambergene has been set up to develop the antibiotics into drugs. If any ancient microbes are revived that resemble present-day diseases, they will be destroyed in case they escape and cause a new epidemics. Okay? When doing this, microbes that seem to have the characteristics of modern diseases will have to be killed. G. Which is, uh, which is just mentioned here. The drug companies will be anxious to study the chemical structures of the prehistoric antibiotics to see how they differ from modern drugs. They hope that one ancient molecule could be used as a basis to, to synthesize a range of drugs. So number four, will be killed. There have been several attempts to extract materials such as DNA from fossilized life forms ranging from Egyptian mummies to dinosaurs, but many were subsequently shown to be contaminated. Can, to contaminated. Canus findings have been hailed as a breakthrough by scientists. Canu has been gapped by some scientists, hailed, which means praised. So the answer will be M. Number five will be M. Praised. Uh, Canu's findings have been hailed as a breakthrough by scientist Edward uh, Goldenberg, an expert on extracting DNA from fossilized life forms at Wine State University in Detroit said, They appear to be very valuable ancient spores. They do seem to be real. Richard Lenske, professor of micro microbial ecology at Michigan State University said, The fight against antibiotic resistant strains of bacteria such as uh, tuberculosis and Staphylococcus could be helped by the discovery, which means they have appraised him. All the paragraph means they have appraised him, so number five will be praised. M. F. However, even the use of ancient antibiotics may not halt the rise of a drug resistant bacteria. Stuart Levy, a microbiologist at Tufts University in Boston, warned that the bacteria would eventually evolve to fight back against the new drugs. They, there might also be an enzyme already out there that can degrade it. So the only way to keep the life of the antibiotic going is to use, to use it sensibly and not excessively, he said. So, by some scientists, others are already saying that the use of any new antibiotics should be uh, combined, connected, alive, safe, mm, limited, H. This is what uh, Stuart Levy says here, limited, H. So, the answers here would be 
based on what I have just explained and read. Number one, we said preserved, which is based on paragraph A. Numbers two and three are based on paragraph C because it starts, the sentence starts with Raoul Kanu says these microbes and we don't have anything related to Raoul Kanu in paragraph B. It explains something in general. Two will be immune, which is O. Three will be uh, Oh, uh, sorry. Let me just check what I have just answered. We said, uh, sorry, to current medicines, what needs to be done first, however, is to make sure that antibiotics are safe. D. Number four will be based on paragraph uh, D. It will be killed. G number five based on paragraph E will be praised and number six based on paragraph F will be H limited. Thank you very much. Wish that you got the benefit here. If you like this lecture, please, please just to press the button of subscribe. And if you have any questions, please just write them in the comments. If you have any criticism, please just write it in the comments too. It was Mr. Heidel Kassi with you. Thank you very much.